Hi and welcome to a new video. Is your iPhone in restore or recovery mode? On newer iPhones, the screen will show a lightning cable pointing to a computer. However, on older iPhones, it would be pointing to an iTunes logo. When your iPhone is in recovery mode, you cannot use it or even turn it on. In this video, I will show you how to exit the restore or recovery mode on your iPhone without losing any data. All the methods I will show you are easy to follow and completely free. Let's go. There are multiple reasons why your iPhone enters restore or recovery mode. One of the reasons is that when attempting to restore from an iTunes backup, your iPhone can be stuck in recovery mode. This can also happen when you try to upgrade to a newer version of iOS. Other times, your iPhone goes into restore or recovery mode because of software problems. The first method you should try when this happens is to force restart your device. Force restart can be done with certain key combinations, but it varies depending on your iPhone model. If you are using an iPhone 8 or later, quickly press and release the volume up button and do the same with the volume down button. Then, press and hold the side button and continue doing that until the Apple logo appears. For iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down and the side button at the same time until the Apple logo appears. For iPhone 6S or earlier, press and hold the side and home button together until the Apple logo is visible. Note that the side button of an iPhone 5S or earlier is located on the top right side of the device. In most cases, a force restart will help your iPhone in exiting recovery mode. However, there would be times when it won't work and can leave your device still stuck in restore mode. If this is the case, you will need your computer, either Mac or Windows. You can use iTunes or a Finder on a Mac for this, but I don't recommend it because it is very complex and oftentimes it does not work without restoring the entire iPhone, resulting in all of your files being deleted. There are better free third-party softwares available. I personally use iMyPhone FixPo or Rayboot from Tenorshare when my iPhone goes into recovery mode. Both softwares function similarly, but I will only demonstrate Reboot in this video. Although Reboot has a paid version, the feature you need to exit recovery mode is completely free. The download link can be found in the video's description or in the tag at the top right corner. Reboot is a tool to enter or exit recovery mode with one click. To use this, you need to install and run Reboot on your computer, then connect your iPhone to your computer through a USB charging cable. Make sure that you are using an original Apple cable or an MFI certified one. Once you connect your iPhone to the computer, Reboot will detect it. The only thing you need to do is to click Exit Recovery Mode and Reboot will restart your iPhone. With just a click, your iPhone should wake up and start working again. When your iPhone has a difficult or complex software problem, such as it won't exit recovery mode or the Apple logo is stuck on the screen and keeps looping, you can use Tenorshare's iOS system repair tool to fix the problem, but this is a paid version. If you use the standard repair feature, you will not experience data loss. However, if you use deep repair, your device will encounter data loss. But in most cases, the standard repair is enough. Please read the notes below the type of repair you intend to do to your device before proceeding, so you are aware on what happens to your device while undergoing a repair. I have another video on how to solve the more complex issues that you can watch by clicking on the tag above. If all the methods I have mentioned fail to solve your problem, then it probably is because it's not anymore a software issue, but a hardware issue instead. If that is the case, you need professional help and need to contact Apple support. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.